Hello dear students. In the previous episode, we learned the self-ionization of water or you can consider ionic product of water and from that we also proved that yes, water is neutral in nature. Now what we are going to take is the derivation of ionization constant. Ionization constant for a weak acid is Ka and weak acid in general is HA. You can take any weak acid like acetic acid, formic acid, benzoic acid, any, any weak acid which ionizes partially. So we will derive the ionization constant Ka for such a type of weak acid. For your uh, simplicity and understanding, I will not write in general but I will take one specific compound so that you can understand it more thoroughly. Suppose over here I consider CH3, COOH or acetic acid you can say, fine. If this is there, I, I react acetic acid with H2O liquid. Now what happens when acetic acid is reacted with water? Acetic acid will try to ionize, but as you know, it is a weak acid. It cannot ionize completely, so it will ionize partially, but into its own ions that is CH3, COO minus, and H plus. But that H plus, that is proton, will get attracted towards the lone pairs present on oxygen, and that will result into H3O plus. So here you can see, the formation of ions take place whatever compound ionizes and whatever remains undissociated remains into its original form. These ions recombine and they set up an equilibrium because they will again counter the same original reactants which will be again formed. And as a result due to the equilibrium state, straight away we can write that yes, KEQ will be formed. But before that, I'll consider that we have an initial state of acetic acid where its concentration, let us suppose, is CO. Now, with respect to acetic acid, the con quantity of water, the concentration as we have derived and proved in the last uh, episode for water, is the, it is fixed at 25 degrees Celsius, then that is 55.55. So, comparative study if you consider for acetic acid its concentration is CO so with comparison to acetic acid we cannot determine the concentration of water or as it is in excess we do not consider in the theory so automatically initially the ions concentration is not recognized at a particular instant suppose some ionization occurs let us say X mole dissociates the acetic acid out of its total concentration suppose X moles get dissociated then obviously whatever quantity of acetic acid is dissociated same quantity of acetate ion and H ion are going to produce and that is what I write over here for dissociation property if acetic acid is X mole so acetate ion and H ion which are formed from acetic acid are also X and X respectively therefore at equilibrium state the final concentration for acetic acid can be given as CO minus X whereas for acetate ion it remains X and X therefore the equilibrium constant KEQ for acetic acid will be given as concentration of products to that of reactants. The reactants and products over here the products are CH3COO- and H3O+. And the product is CH3COOH and H2O. Out of this water being in excess will take along with a constant that is KEQ into H2O as we had undergone in the previous episode of self ionization of water. So this is CH3 COO minus, this is H3O plus and this is CH3 COOH. This two KEQ into water gives or derives a new constant which is that constant mind you it is not kw because this time we have taken the weak acid and so it is for acid so we write k 
A. Mind you, just keep this point in mind. And that is equal to the concentration of products. Now, on the right hand side products we have. And what is that? X moles. So, we will write for that X. For H and also we will write X. And above, upon, we will write for CH3COOH. And that is nothing but CO minus X. So, this is Ka. That is what we have derived up till now. Now, try to understand. Whatever the concentration was, CO, fine. How much amount of acetic acid ionized was X mole? So out of the total concentration, only a part of it got ionized. So compared to CO, the ionization is negligible. And so we can neglect that X from CO. So another equation we'll write and that is Ka is equal to x into x is x square upon this co minus x i'll write as co why because x is negligible as compared to the total concentration and so we neglect that therefore x square is equal to ka into co or i can say x is equal to under root of ka into c what is x we have x as acetate ion and x as h ion we won't substitute x with respect to the acetate ion why because as i said earlier we are talking for weak acid ha now weak acid is not only restricted to acetic acid obvious it is so it may be any weak acid and so if it is any weak acid, it is a protocolic nature that it is going to form H ion. Any weak acid is going to form H ion. So we will write or substitute X as H3O plus and the value of H3O plus will be under root of Ka into CO. This is how we can derive a relation of ionization constant with respect to its Ka, I mean, uh, sorry, H3O plus and uh, CO, that is concentration. So this is one thing. Now I am leaving behind one question for you, for all of you. Just, just listen it properly. As I can derive H ion, that is under root of Ka into CO for a weak acid. Now I am asking you, I am taking the same weak acid, acetic acid, and I want to find its OH ion concentration, not H ion. I want to find its OH ion concentration. Then is it possible to derive OH ion concentration for a weak acid? This is a question to you. Work after the theory very well. Think over and work it out. If not, obviously I'll publish the same question somewhere in the next episodes. But before that, try it on your own. Till then, goodbye and prepare well.